All right, welcome back to another episode of Art Time, where today we're going to be doing some uh, Demon Realm region drawings. In other words, we're going to be drawing some demons. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and now let's get right into it, shall we? So, this shouldn't take too long, hopefully. We got ourselves a significant amount of demons to get done with here. But it shouldn't be too lengthy, for a few reasons. This isn't going to take, uh, you know, with the, the amount of pixels we've got here. As you can see, you can't really see the pixel that well, right? So obviously, a lot of these are going to be a bit smaller, but that makes sense because this one is all about being far off, far away, you know, all of that. I don't know. I am tired as hell. <laughs> As like the excuse every now. It's his screw up the language. The language known as English. Why? I have no clue why. Yeah, most of that didn't matter. <laughs> Seriously, none of that even mattered. Um, technically, yes, these things are very small. You, you already saw like the enlarged version of them. I can show you it again. But if you don't recall, I think these were called Specics, right? That was when Riptide was made. I think it was album 50. Not album 50. Was it 49 then? It was. These things. These little things right here. Were very small, obviously. And if you could tell from the, uh, what was it again? Album 12. Moon Hell. M. Okay, was it 13? Ah, oh, yes. And as you can see from here, they are very small compared to everything else. Which makes sense. And if you didn't know, that, of course, is the, um, what do you call it? Also, now that I think about it, because I made these like this to make it so that you could have the, uh, or show me that I was supposed to, like, delete the edges here. But the, with the way that their wings look here, it doesn't even look like you can really see much of them. <laughs> All right, now for the Specix Glow. What do you just call that? Specix Glow. I don't remember how big the glow was or what it was supposed to be. I think overlay makes more sense due to their, um, what do you call it? They're supposed to be glowy beings, glowing, whatever it be the word is that we're trying to utter miserably and failing in any, in every single shape or form. All right, I need to go back to demons. There we go. But, uh, yeah, those things are small. Uh, I have not much to talk about um, at the moment. I'll just call you Blue Kerr. I just want to get a video made for you to see what is being made and whatnot. Also, it's just good to have in general so that we can, uh, hey, whoops. So we can go on ahead and get closer to the Bob Ross landscape and scenery drawing. <laughs> you know that one that's going to be coming up on the 100th uh, Art Time episode? And hopefully more to come. Who knows what's with going on with apparently YouTube and most of social media? I have no clue. <clears throat> I didn't really look into it that much, nor do I really have much of a stake in it because of the fact that I am still, despite a year of doing YouTube, an unknown creator. Which, of course, makes sense. Despite my posting schedules, I don't edit videos. First of all, I don't even know how to, nor do I have a program for it. But I don't necessarily need to worry about that. Because obviously this is not a job. If I'm going to be doing this, I'm doing it my way. And I do like just showing you most of the progress of what I do. Mainly when it comes to stuff like the games that I play. Art Time's the one exception, obviously, because there's a lot of work to get these drawings done with. And sometimes I just want to take a moment to just watch something. I mean, unlike Minecraft, uh... You already know what I'm making and what I'm creating. 
in terms of, like, you know, the things. In Minecraft, uh, who knows if I'm just spawning in a certain thing or not. Which is annoying when a freaking episode becomes lost because the stupid freaking D drive decided to take a giant dump on itself. <clears throat> Thankfully, though, we didn't really lose too much of anything, just a trident, and we made up for it via... What do you call it? <coughs> the filler episode. So there's that, at least. We got two tridents, not like it really matters that much. If I get another trident, I'll probably just discard the first trident. Because, uh, well, let's be honest with ourselves here. It, it's probably for the best. Who knows? It doesn't matter. We were able to get a trident without too many issues on the filler episode in less than two hours. Better luck in Terraria, that's for certain. Annoyingly enough. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got going for us here. It's funny how Minecraft doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of, uh, like, you know, enemy grind based stuff. I guess in terms of, uh, myrtleizing. Uh, oh, wait, no. This is supposed to be above that. <clears throat> in terms of myrtleizing a significant amount of mobs in order to get our hands on some, uh, Good old fashioned, what do you call it? Also, were you supposed to be above? I got a, I got an image up of the exo vial. Were you supposed to be above? You look like you're above that. Okay, yeah, that, no, that makes sense. <clears throat> so I'll put the B below that, but the C, or the F, I mean, is the one that's going to stay there. Awesome, great. What is the F? I already got an F. I need you to be a G. <clears throat> so, uh, Hopefully with this new system, everything will go swimmingly. Because if the freaking C drive craps out, then that's it. <clears throat> Which is annoying. But it is what it is. <clears throat> it is what it is. So long as we get into the habit of uh, backing up our stuff, we don't have to worry about that. But I'm going to be extremely pissed off if it were, if it were to happen at some point in the future. Which you all know, with my goddamn luck. Ugh. It's annoying. Alright, let's see. Rocks. Okay, good. I'll put you up here. Rogino, you know, I think your name was? Was that your name? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, a large majority of the Demon Realm... Or a large majority of the Lament region in the Demon Realm. I think most of y'all's have seen, provided you are an art time viewer and not just here for the game. <clears throat> I think the only ones you haven't seen me make was, I believe it's only the Vortex. This, uh, this flying thing, where was it? Right, Christ, where was it? Here, ah, there it is. Right over here, the Vortex. Which, I don't recall what drawing that was, but it was definitely an old draw. Oh, there it is. Wow. Album 16. Yeah, the Vortex. That's what it looks like up close, but that probably could make it look even nicer up close if I were to just, uh, you know, go on ahead and redraw it, assuming I want to do that. Problem is, I don't have a lot of space as is. So my best bet when it comes to something like that is to not really worry about it. Because we are... We got, like, a lot more stuff to get done within the Mock Brain Horror folder once the next limitation period begins. Because I think the only thing that's left now is Melody. This is a landscape and scenery drawing, so obviously that doesn't count. Melody, another mature Mock Brain Horror drawing, and I believe Reginald's Mock Break Cases makes a return, which I am looking forward to doing. Part of me kind of want to do some, like, sound a a test thing where I, I like, do an audio log of just these, because I think I'm going to be drawing the Lacerating Doll. And part of me kind of wants to make, like, an audio log for uh, this that I could post on YouTube. With uh, using Reaper Studios, 
of course, I don't know how well that's going to work because of the fact that this freaking room is not good for, you know, sound effects. And also I'm using my laptop's microphone, which also isn't good, but it's the only thing I've got right now. PQ. So, uh, yeah. And this is an R. It's something I'm thinking about doing in the future. I do not know how that's going to work. I feel like I can do it. The only issue is trying to get certain sound effects. Oh, uh, wait. Did I do a Q and a P? Oh, I'm on an S. Okay, good. Just I went back to M for some reason. I feel like I could get, like, some sound effects, like, perfect. Like, if there was a drill and a saw, that could work. See if I can get, like, a... You know how I do... If you've seen any episodes of GameCraft, or especially the ones where I create the sounds, you, you will know the sounds that I can make. I can make a plopping noise. It's going to be strange to try to make it. I could also just go on ahead and... Hopefully try to get as silent as possible and have like a little eye drop into a water. Shallow water. I don't know. And I'm going to draw the defile next. Also, there's two new demons here you haven't seen yet because these are new. I have not drawn them before. But yeah, that is uh, something I'm thinking about wanting to do. No clue how the hell I'm going to do it. Not even sh entirely too sure if it's going to work the way I think it's going to work. I gotta try to make my voice sound different. Like, uh... <clears throat> like an old construction worker. I'm not entirely too sure how that's gonna work. We gotta sound a little bit more, uh... Raspy. Kind of like we've been living for, uh... You know, we've been working in construction for like 20 years. Probably just about. I mean, I can't exactly tell. It's been too long. I've been working for too damn long. Oh, God. Doing this voice hurts my, uh, <clears throat> my, my, my throat. Uh, God. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Maybe not that voice, but yeah, close. I don't sound like my usual self, that's for certain. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Mm hmm. That's something. So, yeah, there's. There's something I can do there. That's something, but I gotta really, like, try to find, like, the perfect voice to use for if I have, like, three different men. How am I gonna sound like three different men when I don't even sound manly? Yeah, sure, I could do, uh... <clears throat> yeah, sure, I could do Joe Swanson. Or a Crunk, or... Or, you know, whoever the... Brock Sampson, but Brock Sampson's more like, uh... Laid back, and it's, uh... You know, or that, or that yo mama guy. The guy that sounds like Joe Swanson. Is that the guy who sounds like Joe Swanson? I'm gonna sound like Hank there. God dang it. Ain't that the guy that sounds like Joe Swanson? I'm not Joe Swanson. I'm Brody, I think his name was. I don't remember. And I, I don't watch his uh, stuff. I only, for some reason, just recently, I was just into the freaking Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> I can't do the Joe voice. I mean, I'll probably do the yeah or something, but now I can't do the full-on Joe Swanson voice. But uh, yeah, I, I, I can at least do those voices, but trying to do like, uh, I don't know, normal graspy voices. I mean, I guess this works. It's... It's low voiced. It's kind of good. Sounds definitely different. Closely sounding like me, but you know, it's at the very least, it's uh, kind of a different voice, right? Almost sounds like Joe Swanson a bit, but I'm trying to remove myself from that complexion for just a little bit, you know. I gotta say that does sound good, but I don't know if that's actually going to fly with uh, regular construction guys. I got first of all, I gotta actually sound normal. I gotta sound like I'm in a conversation with my construction buddy for like 20 years or so. 
And then I gotta try to do his voice, and I don't even know how the hell his voice is gonna sound. His voice is probably gonna sound something similar, if I'm not too careful. I, I have no clue. I have no clue. I was gonna say I have no idea, but then I try to go to no clue step, and uh, that uh, didn't sound right, of course, and uh, that's my bad. But, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's possible. If I could just figure out the right voices to use and try to sound like I am talking normal voice, like trying to hold a normal conversation, then I could probably do it. I don't know. I feel myself slowly jutting in and out of my normal voice every time I try. God. Uh, but is this really my normal voice? Sometimes it's high pitched, sometimes it's a little pitched. I don't know why. I can't keep a consistent voice going. My voice is inconsistent. Sometimes it's high pitched, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's low. Sometimes it's doesn't make any sense. Oh uh, yeah, weren't you supposed to go all the way over there? You look weird. Now that I look at you further, you look a little weird. I'm gonna fix you. I think. I don't know. I'm gonna try to combine these like so. So yeah, all things considered, this is a possible outcome I can do to add a little bit more to it. I would have to ask my father to borrow the tools of which I need to replicate the sound effects. And if hopefully I can do it well, so that I can show him the fruits of the sound effects that I have been, you know, experimenting with. And he'd be like, you, something like that, that could do, you should look into that or some shit. I don't know. So we can get out of this uh, place and uh, live a nicer life. Yep, live a nicer life, because this place sucks. We all agree that this place sucks. I think we can all agree that this house, with a bathroom the size of a freaking walnut, sucks. Well, it's not that small, but I, it is small as hell. I just realized I didn't save the, uh, I guess I didn't save it because technically speaking, this isn't necessarily, uh, what do you call it? Hold on. No, no, no. Gr go to groups. Uh, fantasy. Or is it sci-fi? Sci-fi? Creatures? Yeah, Riptians. Unless I put the Riptian in the mock brain horror. But that doesn't make any sense. Why would I have done that? I don't say the Riptide, so no, I did not do that. I did not do that at all. Huh? Oh, there you are. It's a C, not a T. Alright, it is. This thing that I made a while ago. Yeah, you don't need to know what that thing is. It's a... Uh, it's a creepy drawing that's also sexual. You'll learn when you're older what that means. God. I gotta look back at that. How how, how much... How good is that drawing done so far? Okay, let's see. 13k views and 319 favorites. That's more than most of my normal mature drawings. With the first one of the series being 11k and 220. It's it's strange. I guess because of the creep factor. It's like they're getting scaroused. And, uh, you know, the, the recent one only got like 2k and 52. But that involving Bastanato. And that's completely different from what I usually do. And I guess technically those do kind of combine two different types of kinks. Oh, sheesh. Also, I did not check if this was the right size at all. Hold on. Alright, a little bit. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if it goes slightly out. As long as the lines aren't there, that's what matters. So, uh, yeah. That, that, um... That is definitely an interesting little tidbit. It kind of makes me excited to uh, get the uh, last episode of that little chapter going. Honestly, I'm surprised. I'm quite surprised, really. 
to see something like that, something uh, so bold and new, do really well. I mean, aside from that, what was the other one? I think I only did, like, what, so far three total Mock Brain Horror Mature drawings? Although this one was only just one particular uh, fetish. Now let's see, how did I do? 7K and 63. So yeah, just a singular one there kind of, like, doesn't really do as good. And of course, the first one is 5K. That's an old drawing, too. At 96. 96 favorites. Huh. Interesting. I wonder why. Well, there are five comments on this one. There's four comments on that one. Twelve on the, the second one. And four on the... Uh, okay, okay, so yeah, the, the numbers are varying. I guess there's a lot more to it because... Yeah, that, that, okay, that one makes sense. You know, that, that does make sense. And also, it's still an old drawing. So, of course, it's not going to do as good as most of the new ones. But still, not bad. Not bad. Um, I guess technically this is a full-on experiment that I did. Because uh, we're doing, what? Two mature drawings? Uh, or two, 20 or twice the amount of mature drawings per limitation period. Because of uh, certain things I want to get done with. So I guess, yeah, technically speaking, it's, uh, it's good to see that that is actually uh, doing well. Better than I ever expected. I don't think the full orange series after this is going to, like, do as good. Because I have no clue how the hell I'm going to go about, um, you know... Making some of the scenarios unique. I guess I could probably let y'alls in on what it is I have planned. Okay, I, again, I just click the wrong ones entirely. That's awesome. I guess I could let you all in on what I have planned. It's not too ep uh, hectic. And we don't really have too many views to where everybody will just spread the words of what I'm creating. Or maybe they will. But you know what? That's a risk I'm going to take. So the premise that I have in mind, what did I call this? Lustful Horrors. The Lustful Horrors uh, miniseries. After the pilot... Ah, shit. Uh, it's fine. I can fix that. After the pilot, which is three episodes, so that means the next episode's the last one, we're going to do a little, uh, you know... Focus around, uh, I guess, basically just a bunch of, uh, I don't know what this is called in Japanese, but senior high school student ladies, 18 years old, all of them. Because, uh, no, who can't, res who could resist a good, uh, you know, teen horror story? Because you're technically still a teen even after, wait, 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 which one is this, L or K? L, awesome, great, I remember. Because technically speaking, you're still a teen when you're 18. It's just now you're considered an adult. Despite the fact that I'm 26 and I still don't consider myself an adult. At all. I still do not consider myself as an adult. When, I don't really care about becoming an adult fully. Because that just seems miserable. You know, all in all. Sure, being able to do whatever I want would be nice, but I can't do whatever I want. I'm stuck in a job. We're adults, but we can't do whatever we want because we're stuck in this vicious life cycle. But enough about, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Terrible, terrible, what do you call it? Let's continue with the uh, series that I have in mind. With the, you know, full-on series, not like uh, after the, you know what I mean. So yes, premise takes place in wherever the hell uh, senior year it is called in uh, in uh, J Japan, because this entire series is taking place in Japan. I mean, you could tell by uh, the creatures, the first two that we made. Although the third one, I don't know of that. Well, I guess technically seafood. I said this before, but again, I'm pretty sure that's racist. I think we're going down that territory, and we do not wish to go down that territory.
But then again, I don't know how else I would be able to justify using this particular theme. And you probably already know what kind of theme I'm going for. What other horrors have we not d used yet? That's your only hint. What other horrors have we not used yet? We got long humanoid lady. A centipede lady with a mask. What else is there? Okay, well, admittedly, there's probably still many different types of monsters that I don't know about, that I haven't really looked into yet. But that's, uh, or at least in Japanese or Korean or Asian, or whatever kind of form of uh, horror that's uh, oriental, I guess. I don't even know if that's the right freaking word. We're going it down a racist hole. I'm just going to drink my Mepsi. Man, I don't think I'll just drink my Mepsi, man. I got thing only in the South, man. We do racist shit, man. Because apparently that's where we're heading. Or maybe, who knows? Maybe I'm on point. You know, it just sounds like a, you know, we're going down that route. All right, let's see. Now, the only thing left we haven't done with is uh, this. I should save this? I should. Because the Riptides and the Riptians basically share the same swatch. I'm going to go on ahead and save the, uh, uh no, no, not Space Abyss, unless I put the thing in Space Abyss. No, I did not. Why would I have done that? I don't know, probably because I'm an idiot. We did the stupid, just like we've done multiple times with Duke Nukem. Uh, it's hilarious. Just, just think. You don't know what that means, but uh, trust me when I say it makes sense. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Now to the blood ape. So it's going to consist of uh, three girls in this instance. All uh, adults at this point. Because obviously we can't draw it. it like, we can't draw it if they're not 18. Plus, they're my characters regardless, so they're whatever age I say they're going to be. You, you gotta go by the creator's words. Although, the thing... No, no, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Even though it might be true or it might not be true, it shouldn't be true. Or maybe there's just a specific... No. No, you try to take a guess of what I said. You'll probably, you'll probably, or whoops, you'll probably be able to guess it. If we're going down this terrible, terrible route that we should not be going down, let's let's just stop where we're ahead. We can make them whatever age we need them to be, which is eight, obviously. I mean, assuming these are all like straight A students, they're going to, you know. Stay on the course and not get held back. Hey, I want to look this up. Um, what's senior year in Japan? And what the? Uh, <coughs> are you gonna tell me what this is? And it's upper secondary. I don't know what this is. What? Excuse me? Uh, okay, uh, how about what are the school grades in Japan? Grades? What? Hold on. Oh, wait, no, we're working like it. Why are you not showing me the. If I remember from Food Wars, seventh year, eighth year, ninth year. Ninth year? I don't fuck it. Wait, why is grade 6 11 to 12 and grade 1 is 12 to 13? What? Where the hell is freaking 16 to, or to 18? Uh, okay, well, uh, it, it is kind of important to figure this out so we can actually reference it. God damn it. Now I gotta do research. <laughs> And I ain't gonna do the old American way of just making shit up as we go. Now I'm gonna actually try to figure out what the hell the terminology is. I don't wanna click on that goddamn link. 
We ain't clicking that link, gang. Let's go look in the comment section for clues. Well, uh, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Besides, we don't have to worry about that yet until next year. <clears throat> the first episode, definitely, because I don't think we're... Wait, hold on, where are you again? Ah, shit, there's three different types of flesh. Oh, right, 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 of course, that's the head flesh. Yes, the head flesh. You need to be something else. This. There we go. Uh, where are we? Oh, I need to go here. Anyways, yeah, as I was saying before I got... Uh, for, before I interrupted myself, these um, students return to the school. And like, uh, you know, before graduation day. And they have a strict rule about not going into this school at night. <clears throat> but uh, they decided to, you know, go into the school at night for fun to do a little uh, harmless pr prank. But uh, the prank goes awry when something harmless turns into a night of horror with several creepy demonic entities chasing these girls down and brutally maybe not brutally murdering but at the very least doing some things that are not considered uh, wholesome that's for certain or is wholesome depending on what hole that's going to occur in yeah. but yes that's uh, oh wait fight fuck right oh, hold on i forgot bloat curse have a glow down here right also, get out of this. But yeah, that's the idea. It is essentially supposed to be... Um, it's similar to what we have going on here. Where essentially they technically die, but they're not actually fully dead because their bodies are... Their, their physical bodies are gone. It's just their, their souls are, uh, you know, being, you know, trapped... And, uh, you know, that, what's, what's another word? Trapped and m messed with? No. Uh, trapped within the, the entities that uh, off them, just like, just like Kami and Hirate. All right, I'm going to do the Vortex next, because I know what your color swatch needs to be, and I have to recreate your color swatch, technically speaking, but I can see your color swatch here. All right, the Vortex is going to be interesting. I guess I'm going to try to make the Vortex a bit more, uh, uh, not brighter, but at least so it's not too difficult to see. All right, anyways, as I was saying, yeah, the, these girls are going to find themselves within a whole world of pain. Uh, a different type of pain. More than just pain. I mean, there probably is going to be pain, but there's also probably going to be something else. You know what it is. It's supposed to be sensual, in a sense. Or sensual. Kind of. I don't freaking know how to describe this. Look, it's supposed to be uh, terrifying. That's literally the best way I can go about describing it. Terrifying, but it's also... Made for a mature audience, both in kinks and in horror, kind of like, oh no, and something. I don't, I don't freaking know, man. I'm, I can't figure out the words of which I need to describe the series. Sexual horror? Is that the best way to go about doing that? Right? Is that what you would call that? Probably. I mean, it's like that freaking worm scene from, I don't know what the hell it was called, but this lady got completely, I think, fucked and then killed by that worm. Stripped naked and then killed. And I think it was supposed to be a horror movie, but less in the sense of, what's the word? All sexual and more like, this one scene is sexual, but here's this man gonna kill this worm, maybe. I don't know, I didn't watch the movie. I just saw that scene in this weird cut-up version of it to make the scene look longer on... I don't remember what it was. Pornhub? X-Videos? Who knows? Could be anywhere, really. 
All that matters is that uh, there that is uh, technically what that is, this little series, except it's uh, all that. Maybe not all that, but it's all girls and there's no guys. No guys involved, unless maybe in the beginning, before, you know, the school shuts down and that the horrors begin. Probably. It's not in the same vein of uh, the Dark Succubus here, that's for certain. No, at least the Dark Succubus asks for your consent first, but they can't send you home without the consent, so technically I guess you're still forced to. But also at the same time, uh, you know, this world here is not meant to be good. Are you kidding me? It's called the Demon Realm, for crying out loud. The Demon Realm is supposed to be dangerous, deadly, and whatnot. Also, I get the funny feeling that you need to be 20 and 20. I have no idea, but I'll figure that out later. Um, skull. Fire. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we have planned. In this particular sequence. Um, I am interested in seeing, like, what kind of engagement we can get from this particular series. Because it's unique from what I've done. It's obviously not the... F I'm not the first one to do it, but it's unique to my uh, page, so to speak. Most people probably wouldn't have guessed, uh, you know, that I would go in and do stuff like that. And I can only really do that primarily because now I'm trying to get uh, Mock Brain Horror Mature drawings. And we also got stuff for landscape and scenery, which I have to admit is going to be the most difficult one. Landscape and scenery is different. Unless it's something unique and special, like the Demon Realms, which describes the region alongside, uh, <clears throat> I guess, technically the world of Etheria. Unless it's that, we're not really going to be able... Okay, that's not what we want. We're not really going to be able to do uh, a big story series on. Hell, even freaking the Demon Realm does have limits. I mean, yeah, sure, it, it kind of uh, does, you know, have a lot of creations in it for a landscape, art landscape, for a uh, mock rain horror, obviously. But I'm talking more about this, the... Uh, Landscape and scenery aspect. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to do this. All right, 37 minutes. Not bad. We're not almost done with the coloring, but we're close. But, uh, yeah. That's... There's not a lot we can do there. Surprisingly, Mock Brain Horror, we uh, got ourselves a good thing going. Are we going to be able to keep it consistent? Probably not. Let's be real with ourselves here. We probably will not be able to keep a consistent rep going. I feel like we're going to kind of technically peak with, um, you know, the finale of the, uh, what's the word? The, the pilot? That's the word I was looking for. Brain was like switching between promo and whatnot. But it's not, ah, uh, wait. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I have it like this. I'm looking at this so it's easier. <clears throat> Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting, because you can't see this demon's, uh, the face that the demon here has in the sky. What was it again? I would have to look up the dark beach, because that's the only time you could, well, no, the space abyss works too. And we haven't done anything in the space abyss yet, the demon realm. Yeah, we got the void, but uh, that's not what I want to see. Space space. What did the, the face look like again? Right, it just looked like... Uh, right, okay. Yeah, this vortex here is the reason why a lament has a face. It's not craters. It's literally just red gaseous space. Uh, probably going to make it look uh, darker, but uh, that's fine. This means that uh, we're looking at the uh, 
the surface of the demon realm. Technically, you can see it, kind of, but it's very faint, obviously. All right, that's the uh, vortex, or at least the new form of the vortex set. Uh, exquisite mouth feels. <clears throat> Anyways, I have no clue what this is going to be called. I'm just going to call this a watcher. It is technically a watcher type demon because I do not think we have a watcher on Lament. I don't remember if there was a reason for that. <clears throat> but it's fine. Whoops, don't want to do that. Now, what kind of body are you going to have? <laughs> so you're basically just a gelatinous floating thing. Uh, body. Number one. I have no clue what your name is going to be, but I guess it doesn't matter. Mm, trying to see if I can do a more red and blue appearance here. I don't know how well that's going to work, or how well that's going to mesh. It's supposed to be like a strange mixture of things. You know, like it, its body kind of like gelling in and out. It's like two gels somewhat, so to speak. Maybe. Because the gels are like combining in this instance, but then it kind of flings in and out, and you can see somewhat of the blue look that it has. But why is it blue? Probably not actually like that, but, you know, it's a good thought to have. Alright, so you got a red eye. You're gonna have a... Oh, I should just call this eye. Plural, since you do not have multiple eyes. A red eye surrounding it, and a blue eye in the center. Maybe it's a specific... Oh, actually, yeah, no, that's what it is. I am probably going to forget, but this is what it is. It's a demon that looks like it's uh, three-dimensional. It's making its body kind of mesh out. Uh, you know, I'm going to call it uh, three... Three... Uh, di three-dimensional watcher. For now. It's going to be called something else, but this will at least allow me the memory process of you using your uh, <laughs> colors to disorient people. To screw with their perspective. You think it's coming close to you, but it's not. You think it's far away, but it's not. Or if you think it's coming close to you and you try to go for an attack, but you miss because it's actually further away than you expected. And then it kills you. How does it kill you? I have no clue. Maybe it's slime deteriorates your skin until you're nothing. Alright, now this guy... Whoop, nope, that's not what I wanted to spell. I wanted to spell skull, not slow. You fool. This guy, I'm not entirely too sure. You should have blue bones. This is going to be your bones. <clears throat> now this guy is more of like an armored uh, kind of knight guy, technically, so to speak. I do not know what I want to call you. I guess I'll just do this so I can keep easier track on where all of your stuff is. Yeah, so there's your helmet, one. So yeah, as I was saying with that uh, series, uh, I don't know when exactly I plan on doing an ep the first episode. But one thing's for certain, it is going to be exciting to see it play out. Because they go into the school thinking that everything is going to be fine. Actually, let me check something for a second here. This this might actually be good information to have. What's... I didn't want to press... What? No. What's the legal drinking agent? Man. What is that? 20. Okay, so we can't... Uh, 
we can't really use that because otherwise I definitely maybe die. I, I, you can't do that. Even though there's a scene in Food Wars that has that. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. We all know they're plastered. You can't just tell us it's rice juice. Freaking Center's like, oh, good. They're just being weird. And I'm like, and all the other people are like, yeah, they're hammered. They're plastered. The censors don't know that, but we do. It's kind of hilarious to think that the censor. I don't even know why I did this. This isn't getting fully used. And it's fine. Maybe I'll remember, or maybe I'll forget. Or maybe I open up the Photoshop document and look at the goddamn thing in this department here. This stuff here. I didn't figure that out by remembrance or remembering or whatever. There. Anyways, yeah. We can't do that. But they just go in and do some stuff. And then the horrors come out at night. And then the first person will probably get their souls taken. Their soul taken and their souls assaulted. Alongside another part of their body assaulted. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be horrifying. Going to be a, a rather strange, horrific moment. I guess there's apparently a, an audience for um, horror, uh, horror fetish art. I, I guess there is. I never really realized that there was that there. Untapped potentials that I could be dipping into. <clears throat> Possibly. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? On top of all the other stuff I'm creating, I could do that too. I have done it. Twice now. Technically three times. Now. But we're not doing disgusting man abominations. No, only uh, female abominations. To, at the very least, uh, you know, drive home that uh, we don't do guy-on-girl stuff. Maybe in the future, girl-on-guy, with uh, a particular character that I have in mind. I do not want to spoil who this character is. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. In the future. Next year. Or this year, technically speaking. It's 2023, right? So yeah, this year. Late this year? I don't know. I don't know when the hell I plan on doing it. Definitely gotta be after April ends, though. Because I gotta finish up what I have here. And, of course, there's, you know... Gotta figure out when we gotta do that. There's this other thing that I have the idea to do... So it's going to be like two instances, but that's not going to occur fully just yet. Because we still got to get, whoops, we still got to get to the planning process of uh, the months to come, once May comes. Because I don't plan out all my drawings in very particular orders. I do have some plan. I do create some plan. But, uh... Only for the drawings that I have in mind. Also, are you? Okay, for a second there I thought you were doing that uh, thing. Where, uh, well, you guys can't see it, but if I left-click it, it uh, brings out the menu. When it's supposed to be right-click, that brings out the menu. It's like it switches. For some reason, it switches it, and I have to like restart the computer to fix it. <clears throat> Which, thankfully, that didn't screw up any of the audio stuff on OBS, so that's good. Oh, wait, that's your arms, right. So I don't exactly know when the hell I plan on drawing that. But when I do draw it, you guys won't see it. The YouTube people won't see it. Only the DeviantArt people will see it. And the DeviantArt people will be surprised. And some will probably be disappointed that I'm not going to do that consistently. So all into girls. Only slightly by. And towards men who I don't even think can even exist in um, 
real life. I don't know I say that, but there has been some convincing men that look like women. So maybe there's a chance. Would it actually happen in full? Probably not. You know, where I am at, I'm not, I'm not, I know, I'm, I'm unable to find women who are interested in me to do, like, certain things with. Not like a full-on relationship, but just like, oh, wait, no, wrong one. But just like one-offs that we can do. Not just like one night stands, but like the occasional kink sessions or whatnot. Fantasy based, I know, but I am living in my fantasy world because reality sucks. Why, why do you think I'm creating a bunch? Because it's the only instance in my life where I feel happy. Outside of certain sessions that happen once or twice a week, depending on my mood, which is probably going to be completely and utterly infuriated when we come back to work tomorrow because of uh, stupid schedule changes that makes me anxious because something stupid could occur. I mean, these things shouldn't happen. You, you have no idea. It, okay, so hold on, let me uh, night demon, I'll just call it. I don't know what I'm going to call it fully. Okay, I'm going to go on ahead. Whoops. I'm going to go on ahead and shade the and texture all these demons in. I think I got everything right. You, 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 the spec you, 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 Okay, good, great. A lot less demons here. The ones that are in a pack are in a pack, but a lot of the demons here are singular based. And it makes sense. Lambent is freaking huge and only hosts one set of demons. You know, unlike the um, <coughs> Demon Realm, which is huge, but has several regions separating several different types of demons. Alright, this would be easy. <laughs> so anyways, there we were, at work, and looking at the schedule. And a lot of us, the Palatizers and Relievers, um, do not have to worry about any 12 hours. That's great, that's fantastic. Cut two hours later, next thing we know... 12 hours on a board for multiple different people. Thankfully, though, uh, the person who's technically on the same position as I am, despite the fact that we only need one person on that position because they don't know what to do with him, I think it was a case of, uh, yeah, one of the palatizers was out due to a heart surgery uh, back now, and now they don't know where to put him. Now we basically are overstaffed on freaking B-ship. So, um, I believe, thankfully, that that's all on him, but I still have anxiety that something stupid will occur, which will make it so that I'm going to have to waste 12 hours of my life in that shithole, four more hours, instead of being here, creating and enjoying life. Because <clears throat> I prefer to be here and doing this 24-7. Why do you think I'm trying so hard with YouTube, despite the fact that uh, there's not much of a progress being made? Because <clears throat> it's an avenue to go down. It is an avenue we can go down and try it. Whether or not it'll work, who knows? <clears throat> I could be going at this for 10 years and still be on the low end spectrum of uh, subscribers. I do not think I will reach the same level of popularity as Markiplier, Jacksept Guy, even freaking PewDiePie. And we're talking about old time YouTubers, because I don't really watch any of the new ones. I usually stick to the old ones, which I assume a lot of people do. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that is what it is. That it is what it is. Unlikely that I will ever reach to that point, but who knows? They were in the same point where they thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to get more than, the, than what I have currently. But then they did. Then they got tens of thousands. But here's the difference. I am hit with the curse of obscurity. The only thing that I have somewhat successfully broken the curse on was DeviantArt with almost 1.5. I, I can see how many I have exactly right now. According to this, it says 1.5, but it's 1495. So just five more watches before we get to 1.5. <clears throat>
So we've made progress on DeviantArt, thankfully. Twitter, we just keep getting a bunch of bots I'm trying to unfollow from me, so I don't have to deal with just bots in my subscribe feed. Which is annoying. Why are there so many freaking bots? What is with all these fucking bots? These bots are annoying as fuck. I'm getting sick and tired of removing them. But if I look at freaking Twitter right now, I'm going to see a bot. Let's see, 17? Nope, still 16. Good, great. Ugh, fantastic. And it makes sense, Twitter and Instagram is where all the safer work stuff goes, so obviously we're not going to make too big of an audience on that department. Which is kind of annoying, but then again, I'm never really conversational. Which I should try to get into the conversational instance. But I just do not know, like, the conversations to have. Nor do I really have any time to do such a thing. Also, was this supposed to be an overlay? An overlay at 50? No, 50. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be the case. So, uh, yeah. Um... I am hit with the curse of obscurity. That's what we're talking about. And the chances of me ever getting to a point where I can get a significant amount of subscribers with unedited videos, which also probably doesn't help, is uh, not going to be good. Not going to be good at all. I mean, a lot of these uh, art time videos relies on me trying to hold a conversation and speak a bunch. So there's probably like a bunch of silence that you could cut out. But, um... I don't know how to edit, nor do I really have time to edit. Uh, with the amount of videos I'm making, I feel like unedited is, is the only way I can go currently. Wait, hold on. Which one is that? Oh, you're both combined. Already. That's fine. But yeah, you, you see how many videos I am putting out right now. Whoops, I did not want to do that. Also, it would kind of be strange to just, like, edit certain videos down. We do two-hour videos. We're doing this, this Captain Sparkles 2 route unedited videos. That's what we're doing. That's the route we're taking. No work needed, and we can get a bunch of videos posted. A bunch of... Con what the hell? Is that a whisker hitting my goddamn wrist? No, it's, that's not a whisker. That's a piece of fur, I think. Hold on. I don't know, there's something sharp in my goddamn... It's sharp, something sharp here! What the hell? Not sharp sharp, but just like mildly irritating, like a poke kind of thing. Not a poke enough to, like, hurt, but a, a, just a poke to be, like, mildly annoying. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we're, we're going down that route. Whether or not that route is going to be good for me, well, I don't have any popularity to begin with. So, uh, yeah, no. Probably not going to be good for me. In all honesty, probably not going to be good for me at all. But who knows, maybe I'll hit that gold pipe soon. Or the piss pipe. I don't remember the exact way that went. What was it again? The time has come for you to choose. The gay pipe, the piss pipe, or the cum pipe. Which pipe do you go down? Well, luckily for me, we might be bi, so I'll go down the gay pipe. I don't know, we might be. I'll figure out what my feelings are fully as I draw that one person who I'm not going to spoil because I want to give you a surprise on that department. And then there's obviously going to be another character that's uh, my own creation. I'm pretty sure you know what creation I... I think I probably already told you which creation of mine I'm going to do. I, I think it's the only creation, not including me, that I would be willing to draw that kind of stuff with. So, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm feeling... I'm feeling curious. Might experiment in a few months. Well, not a few months, but you, you know what, you, you get what I mean. Gotta be after April ends. And we go into May.
go in the May with a whole new set of drawings. A whole new set of ideas. I feel like the only set of ideas that are like unique nowadays has got to be animals. Other, sh I guess. No, others has kind of been plagued with the Elementals Reborn and Chrome Wars bug. In other words, it's kind of become this, uh, how do I put it? It's become an extension of sci-fi in the fantasy folder. Only made in a way to where I can draw more of a, the series that we're drawing, but in the others folder. It's like how I want to do, like, uh, you know, certain uh, fan art characters, but I don't have any space to do it, so I just go on ahead and um, put in a uh, freaking moon being forced to cause, whoops, cosplay as uh, three different women. Well, one woman, two teens. Assuming uh, Sailor Moon is still a teen now, I don't remember. I vaguely remember reading up that there are adults now in a new, like, spin-off, or not spin-off. I don't know if that would be considered a spin-off. Whatever it was that it is that it's doing right now. But, uh, yes. That, that is something we could do. We also did that with Nakato when she dressed up as Midnight. We could also have Nakato dress up as Aisha Clan Clan, which works perfectly... Because, uh, I've stated this before, but uh, Nakato has the English dubbed voice of Aisha Clan Clan. That's the voice I hear every time Nakato speaks. That's her canon voice. And it works perfectly. Because why not? It's also just a cute voice to have in general for a character, so why not Nakato? The, um, muscular weeb girl. Whom of which will, um, dominate you and beat the shit out of you if you try to make fun of her to her face. Sure, she's nice and kind to her friends, but that's her friends. Her friends can tease her. But any normal person, some random guy, oh boy, you will not, you will not survive. You will not survive. She's strong. She is strong as heel. I feel like the only character in my roster that could pop, like the portrait roster, that is capable of um, beating her out is definitely Violet. Not only does Violet has a six foot on her belt, not only is she six foot tall, but she's also muscular. She's also strong. She's dominating. She is, uh, quite frankly, one of the, I think, the strongest portrait characters I've ever made. Not the strongest character I've ever made, no. I think, technically, if we're not going to count the mysterious entity and, as well as the mysterious woman, because if we want to see it as them making themselves known to me that technically I didn't create them, they were already existing and now I'm just portraying, or I'm just talking about them and spreading the, the good word of the two entities. <clears throat> you know, the two entities, right, Cat? Right, Cadillac? Looking at chaps. You just watch yourself. But the only other character that I think is technically the strongest, I think it's got to be Kane, Wright, and Ingu. As much as I would like to think that Luna is the strongest Technically speaking, she is capable of um, negating a lot of cheap shit, you know? You can't use, like, hallucinations on her. You can't, like, hypnotize her. Yeah, if, if it's, like, a consensual scene, she will, like, play along with your hypnosis. But she will always break out of it and then be like, uh, that was fun, and then boom, and then she does her thing to you and... Uh, it was nice while it lasted. Or you also like this, and this is just a win-win scenario to you. It's just a win-win-win for me. Or whoever the hell else is into that stuff. I don't really care about hypnosis that much. I mean, it's a niche thing. 
But it's not something I'm going to really, like, fully focus on. I think I've done it twice. And only twice. Did I do it more than once? I don't know. When you think he did the thing more than once, you think, oh, that means he must do that all the time. Then you remember I have, like, I don't freaking know how many, uh, scroll. Okay, well, that doesn't help, because that's showing me 525, and that's not how much we have. I don't know how much we have. I should keep track of the mature drawings <coughs> in a certain department. Jesus, Hyman. Well, uh, I really wish they would just change this stupid thing. They, there's not 525 deviations in this folder. Sure, if you count all the subfolders together. No, I want to see the exact number of the unique drawings, not the drawings spread throughout multiple folders. You dumbasses. Why are you like this? Why? Okay. The, here's the only other option that I've got. This is the only other option I've got. I gotta go to portraits. I gotta take. Okay, so I got 45 in portraits. This is what we're gonna do. Because DVNR doesn't wanna freaking change their system for the better. It was fine before. Why broke what didn't need to be fucking fixed? Okay, there's four in Mockabra and Horror. Sci fi, there's 20, apparently. Surprisingly, there's only 20 in sci fi. I guess technically a lot of Luna stuff is in fan art. There's. Two? Yeah, two in landscape and scenery right now. Uh, in fantasy, there is 27. Okay, that makes sense. And last but not least, there's fan art, which is at 73. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. 171 mature drawings. 171 mature drawings. So technically speaking, you think that about two the drawings I've made of hypnosis stuff is the only thing I've done... Son, I have over 170 mature drawings. I have my freaking fingers dipped in all the kinks, but only a select few that I'm actually fully interested in. The others are somewhat... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, tolerable. That's the word, yes. The others are tolerable. There are tolerable ones and ones that I vivid, vehemently... Do not like. Am I saying that word right? Vehemently? Ve but yeah, vehemently. Vehemently. Uh, I, I, okay, I wish I could hear. You're going to hear it. Vehemently? Vehemently. No, vehemently. Okay, cool. Great. We got, a, we got a guy's voice for that one. Vehemently. I don't know why that doesn't sound right to me. We vehemently do not enjoy that stuff. We hate it. We dislike it. The certain things that we do not like. And it's pretty obvious the certain things that I do not like. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you know what it is. Without me having to really say much of anything. Also, I feel like I did this a bit wrong. I could probably move your eye a little bit more over in this direction. Yeah, just about. And I could probably bring this out. Not the other one, this one. Yeah. No, wait. There we go. Now I just gotta adjust the eyes here and we'll be golden. Ah, shit. Wait, hold on. Uh, hmm. Where's the dust? Maybe I can get rid of the dust. Okay, yeah, that helps. That works. That, that is what we need. Unless there's more dust, I don't realize. I could probably show this again. So yeah, we got a, we got a lot. We got a whole lot. There's we have no bounds. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to grab this one, which technically I feel like should be a tiny bit deleted. Not too much. God damn it. Well, I guess that's fine. <clears throat> So, where, what were we talking about before? I don't know. We've done a lot of stuff. We've done a lot of drawings. I don't remember the exact number. If I look at the uh, New Year's cat drawing, I'll know the exact number. The current deviation thing isn't exact. It's saying I have 1249, but that's not exact. What the hell? Okay, yeah, sure, I can go... Oh, wait, no, I can just do this one instead, and uh, boom. 
Awesome. Great. Fantastic. We'll look at those at some other point on the way. Where were we? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Uh, we have made 1,240 drawings. Not including the um, 31 hardcore mature drawings. Which is, uh, you know... Technically, uh, you know, counted towards it, but it's not fully... You know how it is. You know how it works. But yeah, we made a significant amount of drawings. And one animation. One animation that's free now, by the way, on the other YouTube account that I have. Whoops. The one that was made primarily for uh, mature stuff. It's unlikely that it's gonna ever, like, get utilized for anything else. It depends, really. I don't know how YouTube would react to stuff like that. It's privated, and can only be accessed via a link. So yeah, I don't feel like that's going to be an issue. But we'll see. I won't know, because I'm not going to freaking be there for when that occurs, because I don't really look back at that sometimes. Yeah, I don't look back at that sometimes. I'm still quite impressed uh, the voice I was able to create for that one. Still a bit strange to me personally, but I feel like I might be able to trick some people into wanting to uh, look at that stuff. What I need to do is try to get certain voices kind of perfected. Because if I want to do, like, voice stuff and have different types of voice to utilize for certain things, I need to get some... Uh, Practice in on some voices. Uh, well, I guess I could probably get a, a quick drink first before I <laughs> attempt to strain my vocal cords even further. Oh, I mean, yes. This particular voice almost sounds like Professor Triple Extra Large, but less, uh, how you say... Promote Jewish? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, this voice kind of works just fine. Deeper, a bit more uh, in line with normal voices. Kind of close to where it needs to sound, I guess. So difficult to try to stay in it completely. You gotta really give it to those people who are voice actors and are able to, like, Utilize unique sounding voices for things. It's interesting, to say the least. I can't imagine how many takes they have to take to be able to do that. Ah, yes, this voice. Of course. Well, uh, I don't know. What, what does this voice sound like to you? Huh? Does my uh, current uh, appearance not fit with this voice? <laughs> Does my current appearance not fit with this voice that I'm doing? Probably not. Probably not. We also got the uh, redneck, uh, what do you call it? But uh, that's... Yeah, that, that, that one's easy. Man, I'm dangle that one's easy, man. We're talking about some good old-fashioned, regular old uh, sound neck, redneck type of mouth. And good old... Mm, mm, like a goddamn beef on patty, man. Dang, dang old the cheese and ketchup, man. Make some barbecue sauce and well sweet baby rage and... Mix that up, man. Get some cheese on there, man. And talk about some good old cheese. And, yep. I mean, that voice is pretty easy to get done with. Yep. Not too not too difficult. Real good voice to get done with. And try to keep that there voice going. And just, you, you, even if you stubble, man, you got to keep on going, man. Because you dang old got to flow with, man. God, this is such a pain in the ass. Every time I do that voice, I feel my brain cells committing suicide. As I stumble upon my words and fail to try to make coherent sentences. It's like we're trying to talk like Boomhauer, but with a completely different perspective. Like Boomhauer's distant cousin. Not whatever that guy's name was, I forgot. Jebediah? Was that his name? Probably. I don't remember, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've seen Hank of the Hill. Ah oh, yes, Hank of the Hill. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's one voice we do. That is also Joe Swanson voice, I've said this before, but I'll do it again, because why not? I uh, know, I, I went back to the other voice real quick. Yeah, 
Let's just let do a little voice uh, movement. Uh, how did we get there? Well, uh, beach me. By all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. I can't exactly get that. It really just sounds like you're a uh, Joe Swanson parody at that point. Yeah, you beat me. By all accounts, it doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, yeah, it kind of sounds close, doesn't it? It's uh, so I gotta try to make it sound a very specific way. Oh, my, uh, I do love myself some chocolate milk. Ah, uh, yes. Here's some chalky milk for you. Good old Joe Swanson or Crunk giving you some chalky milk, or choky milk as he calls it. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, that's what I call fine chocolate. Exquisite mouthfeels. <laughs> God's making me tear up a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool, great, fantastic. Glad we can do those voices. What have I not shaded in? I have not been paying attention to where I'm... Okay, I haven't done you, I haven't done you, I haven't done you. I've done you small things. You, 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 you're the easiest one to shade in. <clears throat> Do I even have the uh, current tone to sound like uh, Haruko? I feel like Haruko is the only voice that I can... Or only, like, female voice I can somewhat get right most of the times. <clears throat> I don't think I have the time. I could try to get it close, a little bit more, like, ch adjusting as I try to get it close to what it's supposed to sound like. Mm-hmm. It just sounds like I'm going full-on nasal voice, but she does kind of have a nasally voice. I'm talking about the English dub, of course, because the English dub is a, the only one I'm going to watch, obviously, because, you know, and now I'm starting to lose the voice again. I, can, I slowly feel myself losing the voice. I think it's mainly because I'm sticking with uh, the low tone voice and I can't get the higher voice. <clears throat> I could try to do higher pitched voices. Maybe I'll hope I do a cat talk. Maybe that's gonna work. <clears throat> no, I'm still clenching my, clenching my throat as I'm trying to do the cat voice. Maybe that doesn't work. Right. Am I right? I sound like an ROTC cat! That's what the ROTC cat sound like. I can't keep it up with my throat. <coughs> Unless I... No! Nope, I'm working! God damn it, I'm losing my voice! This is the ROTC cat voice and it's so hard to keep up. I used to be able to do it so easily when I was younger. I can still get somewhat of a... Oh yeah, like a little bit of an elegant woman's voice. Kind of close to that, right? Hmm? Well, maybe. Um, it's going to sound a little bit more theatrical, unfortunately, and not like a normal conversation. Unless I do it like that. Yeah, that could work. Almost sounds close to Jaden's voice. Oh, yeah, Jaden's voice. Huh, I didn't think I still had that in me. Oh, close. And also, it's more higher pitched because of uh, Dream's uh, sense and stuff. It's still not good enough. I can only really get it to sound convincing if I increase the pitch in something like, uh, what do you call it? You will see soon in Paint Maze once I get the voice stuff going. Which, I'm not going to show you me doing that just yet. I'm probably am going to do that like towards the end. Once I've gotten like the blockology stuff set, I'm probably going to show you, or at least like do one or two voice lines. Because I think the next episode, the current one, the next one this week that's coming after this episode, assuming that I can get this done with and posted today, I feel like I should be able to. The next one is going to be us putting the statistics stuff in. But the next one after that one, next week, I should say, actually. Next week's, um... Game Crafter episode, we're going to just start working in the zone. A lot of the stuff in the menu now can be worked on off camera. So I just got to do that. It's just a lot of work to do there. I need to get more time. And I'm hoping I can get more time. I really hope I can get more freaking time. Once the zone is made, I have to also get the freaking first level's music made. The Zones music is made, but that doesn't matter too much because 
well, obviously, the zone is only one thing. We make the zone, and then boom, we put in the music once the zone is done. Levels, we have to make multiple different levels, and they have to use the level template. Duplicate it off of that, and then go on ahead and uh, play the music on that particular template. Like, I probably would just set up the template, or duplicate the template, and then set the template up in a particular way that allows for me to make another template for that particular zone. That's, that's the plan. So I do have to get that music done with. I have all of my Reaper Studio plugins back in, the Reaper Studio user plugins, because I had to move that for uh, Sonic Frontiers. But now that Sonic Frontiers is done, we don't have to worry about that anymore, so now we're in this particular instance and whatnot. So we're there. We are close to where we need to get to. We just need to start working on the music. <clears throat> and there's so many tracks that we have to make. I guess it's not technically 84, be or, 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 yeah, 84, because a lot of it is just uh, short variations. What you looking at? A lot of this is just the short variations of certain things. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. So obviously it's going to be a little bit, whoops, a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Less than the usual. I don't know if less was the word I'm looking for, but you know what? That's the word I'm choosing. <laughs> it's less than the amount that you see, because uh, a lot of them are short. Although I guess technically there is still a decent amount. <clears throat> like short, but uh, changed up a bit to sound different from the in-level sound effects. <clears throat> Which does give us an interesting uh, thing to work with. Yeah, look at this guy's teeth. <clears throat> I guess I probably could have done that to the defiler, but it's fine. Yeah, thankfully with this being so small, it doesn't exactly matter what we do here. We'll be done with this in the same way as usual. And this guy's just hunched over, crouched over a crater, going in it. Probably about to kill somebody. Some demon, most likely. Or an alien. We don't really get to see aliens here. Uh, but that's primarily because you might see an alien be like, Oh, hey, a demon! No, that's not a demon, that's an alien. Yes, sir, that's an alien. Lamin is mostly just full of uh, demons that are from alien species. But it can also be full of, uh, you know, it could also be in the same vein as the Blood Peaks, maybe. I don't know. The Alien King and the freaking um, Defilers got into this uh, region and conquered it, kind of. That they did. <sighs> that they did. Alright, so you're the only one left now. <clears throat> I'm interested in what kind of demon this could pos- or what kind of alien this could possibly be. But that's a problem for future me to create. Because <clears throat> current me doesn't know. Or I guess technically I am past me. If we're talking about past recording videos, then yes, this is past me talking. Current me in the past doesn't know. But future me knows. That for certain. Hopefully. Hopefully there is a future. Hopefully there is a future me. And a future everything. Hopefully the future isn't going to continue to be bleak. As the years go by, more and more wrong things occur, causing more and more issues for everybody in the damn world. Now they're doing something with taxing the companies? I don't know what that's going to do. I don't know shit about politics. Is it good? Is it bad? I have no clue. Is it going to screw me over? No idea. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> We will see what happens. 
But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing that occurred. I'm not sure what the outcome of this is going to be like. Could be good, it could be bad, I don't know, and I don't frankly care. So long as they don't mess with me, I'm fine. All right, anyways, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, your Jeremy will be able to come up with something interesting with this guy. A humanoid alien-like creature. I mean, that is the lo most likely thing that we can get here in alien species. Most likely, right? It makes sense. It seems like the most uh, perfect evolution for um, <clears throat> our particular type of uh, instances. Evolving, adapting, overcoming, creating tools and whatnot. But the, the tools being more advanced for some reason. Unlike, you know, most ravens and birds and whatnot that don't really utilize like the best possible tool. I use uh, primitive tools still. I guess maybe one day we'll get bird people. Right? Maybe we'll get like those uh, bird people in, like in uh, Legend of Zelda. That would be interesting. There's some pretty attractive bird people in that uh, game. You see the MILF bird people. That's right, we're going full on furry or feathery or whatever the frick that would be called. I mean, you got scalies and you got the furries, but what the hell would. Are, what are birds? Uh, are birds, uh, are birds furry? Furries? Avians? Is that what that's called? Oh, okay, it's called avians, which is weird because you got stuff like freaking scalies for dragon girls. So apparently that's called an avian and not a birdie. Eh. Uh. Or feathery, technically. Technically, if we're going by fur and scale, it would be f feathery for the... I, I don't freaking know, man. I'm only like... I'm not even fully into that subculture. I'm only like half of it. I mean, yeah, sure, I do have like a race of felines. You know, Courtney? Those girls? I don't think I even have... I don't think I've done another drawing of them as of late. Do I even remember which one? Yeah, like here in this one, here's a. Why are you taking a while to load a J? There's one of the furries, or the felines, I should say. The ones uh, I think her name was Cleo, like Cleopatra, kind of. I don't know why that name stings. It sounds so close to my old my the cat before Shade, right? Shade still stings, even though it's been a couple of years. It still stings. It's not something that you can really fully get over. The pain is still there, right, Cat? Well, you wouldn't know. You were born into the world. You, I don't even know if you knew who your mother was. As soon as you saw me in your little tiny baby form, you crawled all over me, and then you accepted me into your, uh, your life immediately. I don't know how you did that. How do you do that? You're not going to answer me. You're not going to meow. Give me an affirmative meow. Despite, like, you know, me not being able to understand you, but, you know, you, you'd still give me an affirmative meow, right? Meow? Meow. No. Okay, you're just going to keep staring at me. Standing and staring. But, yeah, I, I have created... I have created a anthropomorphic race before. I don't think... And also, when... What? Album 36... At least, yeah, like, album 36. This is an old drawing, so this is not what they look like fully here. Because if I were to bring up one of the Felines comics, uh, comics drawing, the Felines, uh, uh, JPEG. Christ, there's so many things I have to go through. You got, like, a much more improved appearance here for these uh, characters. Like, uh, here's the father, here's the mother who looks insanely fucking hot. There's Courtney. There's little baby. Much better looking face, that's for certain. More anime style. I gotta draw these characters again at some point. 
I know Elementals Reborn has kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. It's like a cat. He's putting her head behind and this cat playing. He's, this is Shade right here with her freaking claws playing with her damn food. Man. I, mean, I should do something with that mother at some point. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? Anything attractive we'll go on ahead and do stuff with. But, uh, yeah. I should do something with that uh, series again. I don't know when I can do something with that series again. Elementals Reborn has taken high priority. Which makes sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really do enjoy making these series. Noah Guardian's been fun to make, as well as uh, Adventurous Army. So, of course, Elementals Reborn being the newest series that we had just gotten going not too long ago. It's, uh, it's nice. It's a nice feeling. You should try it. You don't have to go full on comic. I made a mistake going full on comic, and it took takes ages with my art style to get pages made. To where it would take me like several different pages to get certain things made. That's the thing that sucks. I would like to make comics, but <sighs> making comics takes a long time. I would have to like do it bit by bit and post it page by page. But part of me kind of wants to like have it all out at once. You know what I mean? Just like make all of the comic strips and just post it all at once. Make the comic cover like what I have been doing with the uh, Nova Guardians and Elementals Reborn. And just have links going directly to the comic pages. It's a hefty goal for one person to do. And that is not something that I can do so easily. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Whoops. It is what it is. We, uh... We made some stuff, at least. And hey, we got an insanely attractive milf feline character. I know that sounds terrible out of context, but the felines is the anthropomorphic creation that I made of cat people. Sentient cat people. I think the uh, plot was, what if humanity evolved from cats instead... And that's what humans are, but they're called felines. I don't know why we call ourselves humans. Why did the term humanity come up and not monk monkey enemy? Or the monkus? I don't know, we probably, some of us do still the mon do the monkus. I don't freaking know, man. Does it look like I know? <clears throat> we, well, I mean, I guess some of us calls ourselves monkeys. I sat the alt key, you fool. I was hope, uh, hoping I was holding space. But yeah, that's that's something I've done. Stop it. Stop scratching it. Stop being a pest. Hold on. Uh, where are you? What are you doing? I don't know where the hell you moved to. She moved to somewhere. I guess it's still in the same vein, uh, yeah, because like, they have uh, actual normal cats that they uh, have as pets as well. And I, I guess it's less of a... It's like uh, humans... A lot of humans have uh, an affinity towards dogs. We all like dogs. I like dogs too, but I, I'm more of a cat person, if you will. <clears throat> so it's, it's like uh, the felines have more of a, uh, an affinity towards uh, cats, right? Yes, maybe. I guess the f wild cats are... <clears throat> See, I don't know. It makes sense for us to have cats as pets. But to ha for us to have monkeys as pets, now that... Uh, well, that is a thing in some countries, but... I don't know. It, again, it's not like you would have a monkey as a pet... In this universe, either. I don't really think that would make most sense. For a few obvious reasons. <clears throat> yeah, that would not really make too much sense. I feel like... We're gonna go down the Goofy route and Pluto route, when it's, where it's just like a sentient uh, cat with a, 
a non-sentient cat. In the sense that you don't have the ability to, uh, you know, walk on two legs and speak. I guess if you're a feline, you can run on four, all fours if you wanted to. I mean, I guess that's what they would do with a sprint, right? Stop scratching shit! Freaking cat over here with her damn scratching. Alright, let's see. I feel like this is a good texture to have for this. And we're going to do a double texture with this one, probably. Am I going to remember about the double texture? When I draw the full thing? Probably not. God, this is a this is such a simplistic demon. I should have... Uh, I should have done a smaller version of it, but I, I guess it'll be interesting to see how we build this thing. Yeah, it's just like all goopy and slimy and and whatnot. You do not want to touch that thing. That's for certain. So, uh, yeah. We got our own uh, anthropomorphic uh, OCs, I guess you could call it. And that's another funny thing. People will see the feline line and be like, it, see, see, he's, he's uh, drawing a, a bunch of uh, furry OCs. And I'm like, well, you see, son, I have way more OCs than just these characters. Yep, I mean, technically all these demons are my OCs. Technically speaking, if we really want to go down to the technical route, all of these demons are my original characters. If that is the case, that means I have, like, way more original characters than I expected. I mean, yeah, I, <clears throat> technically when I was drawing my o all, almost all of my OCs, not all of them, because there's no way I'd be able to have all of them. You know how many Demon Realm demons I would have to draw if I had to implement these guys into the mix? And where the hell would I have even placed them? I don't know where I would have placed them. That's the thing. I mean, we have the Lich... And, uh, oh, well, the Dark Succubus is different. Wait, what did I have here again? I'm gonna bring this up real quick. God, now I gotta back all the way into here. What was it, 42? Yeah, let me look at this again. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at this from this, you will see it too, so I can get, so you can, like, see it. Yeah, there's the Dark Succubus. There's the Lich. <clears throat> and there's one of Reginald's Maka Break Cases entities. Why him? I don't know. I guess he just looks cooler than all the others. And being humanoid, it makes sense. Well, I guess, yeah, you two aren't humanoid. Although you do kind of act like humans. Was there any? No, I think you and you are the only demon realm demons I placed here. Right. I'm still impressed with, like, how... Yeah, see, there they are right now. Perfect example of uh, these characters. Getting somewhat of an improved look. And then the recent instance. Looks a hell of a lot better than the old ones, at least. That's for certain. <clears throat> Trying to go too realistic beforehand. And that was during most of the animation instance. I'd like to think we got to a really good point. Face-wise. Uh, face oh, wait, no, we got to be 10. I'd like to think, at least. We have definitely improved a whole bunch. Like, I don't know why, but it doesn't look like I improved, but it did. It does. To me, it does. Like, if I'm looking back at, like, uh, well, technically, album 20s, or, you know. If I go to uh, album 28 and I grab this one right here, this is an uh, album 28 drawing. Characters look like this. I know, strange. And now I go to, uh, let's see, album album 38 and the Nani Productions drawing. Characters look slightly better. It, it definitely is an improvement from beforehand. An anime still could use a little bit of work, though, during that time, but this is album 38. And now we go to album 42 <clears throat> and show you this one. Definitely some improvements, 
The main characters are obviously more, you know, showing, while the guys in the back, of course, are NPCs. Definitely some improvements there. And then if we go to album, let's say 51. Uh, where is there a bunch of people? No, how about 50? I need a bunch of people. I need, ah, the cafe group. And then you got drawings like this. Definitely improved a little bit. We are doing a little bit more of like a, you know, side instance. Still kind of keeping the uh, previous look, but yeah, definitely a lot better. A lot more improvements. Oops, why didn't you not delete or exit? I mean, why did you not exit? So yeah, there is like slight improvements as we continue doing stuff. And there's some that like feel like doodles, which makes sense. We kind of do have some quick drawings that uh, are meant to be done with quickly. Can't just have them all look extremely good. We gotta have some doodles here and there to kind of like give ourselves a break from making a bunch of complex drawings. Like for instance, we got Melody next after this one. Melody is interesting. Well, technically I got Adventurous Army, but... <coughs> Yeah, no, it, it, despite Adventures Ami and the complexity that's going to be, because I think I have three characters to draw there. Also, were you supposed to be... Uh, yeah, I think you were supposed to be more liquidy. So we'll use uh, this one here. But yeah, we got like a, a simple one after this particular instance. Which is going to end us up with... So I don't see. It's going to end us up with uh, one complex before that, and then a simple, i.e. the melody. Well, melody's not going to be simple, but the background for melody is going to just be the space abyss and, you know, colors. There's not going to really be a lot there. It's going to be the space abyss, but brighter. <laughs> Primarily because they were in a very unique part of the space abyss. Jeez, I can zoom in so much further when I'm in the newer drawings, but when I'm, in, when I'm in the older drawings, I can't zoom in a lot. I can see all the textures and detail on this thing. I don't know what the hell that is, but I do know what these two are, so that's good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that should be simple. And then, of course, Elementals Reborn comes up next after that. Elementals Reborn is going to be, an, this one's going to be an interesting one. Because we're going to introduce the last character into the main group. Domador. And I cannot wait. Domador is an interesting character that I've made. I think he's the only character I've ever made of his type. You know, the whole, like, a feminine femboy appearance. I don't think I've made another one. Outside of my character. Who some people will probably get confused and be like, Are you a girl? I'm like, nope, no, I'm not. Nope. I just have long hair and look like it. Somewhat. Maybe not entirely. Maybe I would like squint my eyes and try to fix my hair a bit. Or go like side parted. And now we just look like one of those emo teens from like in the 2000s. Well, I'm not fully parted. But I also need my vision. Can't draw without vision. Draw no look good if I no work. Did I get everything here? I think I did. Uh, I guess the only other thing I can think of to do is to give these textures. <clears throat> Yeah, I got you, I got ye. Or did I get you? No, I got you, I can see the textures there. It's just the red flaming arm you can't see. A three-armed uh, monstrosity. <coughs> Alright, awesome. I think that's all there is to this. Good, great, fantastic. The only thing left for me now is the shadows and effects. <clears throat> and thankfully though, all I gotta do... Oh, I don't even need to call this 1A. There's only one shadow here. 
So you gotta figure out where the shadows need to be. Inside the craters makes sense. Okay, well the shadows might be a little bit more tricky to work with here. Unless I put those shadows over the demons here. Which could work. That could work just fine. It is, in, like before I uh, know this, I, when I colored everything in, everything blended in. It required me to do the shading tool to be able to get everything to where it is right now. Which is essentially supposed to be, uh, you know, different looking stuff. That's the thing about the uh, laminate. It uses the same text or same color for everything. But the shading changes the colors for certain things to get it to look a certain way. And obviously, that means that a lot of this is going to look different. Yeah, you're going to be a little bit tricky to do. I guess some of you don't matter. Try to remember that, but I'm going to forget, and then you're going to have a hard shadow here, which is not what we want. And then there's you. I guess there are only some that really matter the most. Yeah, like, maybe, like, pull the shadow along the edge here. Try to get this part. Eh, this part doesn't matter too much, because that, that looking brighter makes it look like there's a bit more light there. <clears throat> Yeah, that's another issue with that one. That's why I'm probably going to have to use the other sequence for this. Now, this might be far down below. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, it should be a little bit more, uh... What's the word? Like that. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, the blue on these uh, rocky formations here causes this entire, uh, the, the ground beneath it to change into a, a strange looking texture of its uh, current self. Which does look pretty neat, not gonna lie. It definitely does make this area look way different. Alright, well, by the time I get this done with, it'll be three hours have passed. Yeah, it's almost two hours right here, which is actually pretty good, all things considered. We spend, like, a, a half an hour or an, or an hour getting this done with, eating our food and uh, all that stuff. And then, of course, there is, um, what do you call it? posting of this thing, which is probably going to take the rest of the hour. It's going to suck when it does, though, because I did want to get a little bit of a break in. But I can't get a break in. I gotta get this done. With. <clears throat> okay, this is the only thing I need to do now. And it's primarily just... Well, this one doesn't matter too much, but I guess because you're a blob, it's kind of unique. Also, I gotta look Back. Did I make you transparent? Oh yeah, you did have bubbles. I guess you did technically have bubbles inside of your thing. No, 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 don't back at- don't go into the space abyss, you fool. I guess I can add in the bubbles. In a bit. Yeah, look at this thing just wandering around aimlessly. It's still kind of hilarious what they look like. They look even more hilarious. Yeah. They look more hilarious. You guys don't really need that much shadows. You kind of do, for only for like the back and your, your this and that. I guess you can get some shadows, but do not go beneath that. Good. Glad I remember. And then there's you. I'm not sure about you. I guess this would have a shadow because that's where your light is. But you don't, like, let light out anywhere. And you're unique because I don't even know if your body would be able to retain shadows. But I'm going to give you a shadow anyway. I, I think gels would still have shadows, right? Does make any sense for them not to? 
Uh, okay, I kind of don't have much of this set here, so I can get most of that, and then I can just do this. Okay, good. Do you need it? Uh, technically, not really. We're gonna use the shadows here to put your arms above the rocks, like so, to make it look like you're on the rock, climbing it somewhat, with shadow lights and whatnot here. Okay, awesome. Good. Great. Uh, what else was there? There's the fog. Alright, the fog, I gotta remember how the hell this was supposed to go. Um, boo -doo 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 fog. Alright, good. Great. I'll bring this to uh, the sun rays. Or, in this case, the bulb moon rays, I think. Right? Yeah. The bulb rays. You know, those jellyfish in the sky. Or in Space Abyss. <clears throat> Causing the entirety of this area to get all the... Uh, what's the word? Yeah, I like that one better. <clears throat> <coughs> okay, so I need to go somewhere. Here? Uh, there's the garage, you know. The hard rocks. Uh, mm, uh yeah, the riptide, definitely. Um, hard rocks, scrap. Yeah, the scrap also needs it. This might be like a dual colored. Oh, yeah, that's the night guy. Put you there as well, but alone, or about that. Am I about to go over everything? Can I just make another fog here? Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah, there we go in that. <clears throat> I about to, okay, I'm just gonna go on ahead and make another fog then. But I'm gonna remove some stuff. Uh, teal, maybe? Okay, maybe not that too teal. Maybe not that either. <clears throat> I don't know about that. Pink doesn't really work. That doesn't really work. Hmm. Um. And that's too bright. That's also too bright. Why did I choose that? How about this one? Nah. Blue? No. Okay, maybe just a lesser version of the blue here. <clears throat> Get the eraser tool out. And just delete everything down here. If anything... I guess I'm going to switch back to this then. If anything, this part needs to be like this. And this part needs to be more blue. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. And maybe we can make this part light purple then? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, good, that's that fog. But now I need to go underneath everything, so take me down to ground 1D. Where is this fog going to be, and what is it going to be? Uh, maybe lighter. And I guess getting rid of this works perfectly. We still kind of have like a horizon somewhat, so to speak. <clears throat> but that's it. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. I could probably get rid of some of the blue in the sky at least. So the space abyss still shows as the space abyss. Yeah, like that. We can have some blue and some brown and some light purple here. But it's still mostly just space. Which... Right, because we are near the Blood Abyss, you only see this, the Combuses here. 
Well, technically speaking, I think you would still see the combus because... Okay, hold on. I'm going to put the combus in more. Real quick. And also, I should make some uh, 250s to make up some of the uh, lack thereof in that department. <clears throat> Alright, where else? Where else? And the only thing I can think of is below this ground and to the mountains here. Which is good. It's technically what we want. Alright, good. I think that's all we need to worry about there. And of course, we just delete the top once more. But we only show the back here and maybe make it like 25? Yeah, and again, make a little bit more deletion at the top. Wait, what about the mountains over there? Oh, that's there. Never mind. It just doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. All right, awesome. There we go. There's that. Now for the bull balloon rays. Bull balloon rays. Bulb and then loon. The so B U L B L O O N. That's how you spell those demons' names. The spacious abyss is filled with strange creatures. It only makes sense that they would have strange names. Ah, oh, baby. It only makes sense, right? It, it kind of is the, the way this works. Alright, so we could just have like a nice light here. And it makes sense. Bull balloons light up certain areas, and their light spreads very far. Technically, the demon realm wouldn't have any shadows in it, but, you know, for the sake of making it look good, we'll have shadows in it. Alright, let's see. Bull balloon light. I could probably delete some of the rays. Whoops, god damn it, why did you do that? It's fine. That's not what I wanted. 50 overlay. I don't know how the particles here are gonna work. Particles in the night sky with stars in it don't mesh too well. It doesn't look like a lot is being used there. The uh, flares, on the other hand, now that works perfectly. <laughs> All right. You can somewhat see this, the flares right now. I'll try to delete some of it down here and also try to get rid of some, but not all, of the rays. Okay, not that. Uh, let's see. Mmm. Meow. Meow. Right, meow, meow. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. What am I doing? I need to make shadow rays now. Easy enough. All I gotta do... I just move this up again. Also, am I still on the screen? Okay, good. Just need to make sure I didn't accidentally somehow press the up. A page up by pressing 9. Because that's happened before. And it's annoying when it happens. Alright. Also, I'm curious. Where is my uh, space at right now? 50.7. Okay, not bad. <clears throat> We're on a relatively good uh, size here. I liked having it on D drive before, but now there's just a chance that the D drive is going to get screwed up. Unless I were to have like a, a backup on a C drive that occurs. So if for some reason the D drive is missing, the uh, OBS is like, oh, well, there's nothing here. So why don't we go on ahead and have all of that stuff be moved over to there? I don't know how that works. It was an interesting and frustrating instance that occurred where we tested what would happen if uh, apparently we record on a hard drive that doesn't exist. OBS just freaking has a meltdown and doesn't know how to handle it. So that's a mistake, apparently. 
Apparently that's a mistake. Okay, just a little bit of this getting that. Also, it's apparently a mistake to try to implement uh, advanced fixes. Only to find that it doesn't work. Cuts the video off terribly. I wonder if it only occurred because we kept trying to end the video recording, despite the fact that it kept on going and going, and then we just probably corrupted it. It's still up there. Episode 5. A terrible, terrible episode. And it's pretty funny when I say I try to implement a new fix to remove the lag, so hopefully that worked. And then, nope, didn't work. The entire video was borked. Uh, professional YouTubers should be like, we can't use this video, we gotta re-record it again. Make another new episode and be like, episode's gone, don't have that side content, but I'm like, the audio is still there, it's filler, you can just listen to it there. Awesome. We even did a Bosch rush at the in the last episode. So for those who want to see us fighting the bosses, there you go. And my god, there were some annoying bosses towards like the end of the island that I really despised. <clears throat> some annoying as hell bosses. And we're going to have to do that in hard mode whenever we decide to do a revisit of the game. And also fight the uh, true final boss that apparently you cannot fight if you're in normal mode, which I find is stupid. I do not like that. I don't know why. It just, it's kind of, it does kind of feel abrupt. And it's just hilarious how right I was, like what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a shooter. But I didn't even get to play it. I didn't even get to give it a shot. The game just skipped it. And that was it. So, I have something to look forward to when I revisit the series. <clears throat> I mean, who in their right mind would think that that would be the case? Right? Who? Who would think, uh, I better play in hard mode because I'm going to miss some vitally important, uh, you know, boss fight. That's all it is, is just a, another boss fight. For the story, it's not important. But it also just makes the boss fight feel anticlimactic. You know what I mean? And that's what we were left feeling somewhat. The story was good, still. Just wish the final boss, uh, you know, I could play against. And not the semi-final boss. I wish I could have fought the final boss. Instead of its, uh, you know, predecessor. Okay, I'm thinking maybe this one could be like a 20. I usually stick to like 30, but now I feel like that should be a 20. I should mess around with the overlays here so a bit. <clears throat> like, I've been messing around with dual-colored sepia, dual-colored fog, or more than multicolored. Why don't I try to mess with the... the the opacity of the overlays. So if something seems a bit too much to us, we can reduce the opacity. It's like, okay, maybe this could be 20. Yeah, there we go. Not too much. I think that's all. I don't think there's anything more here that I want to add. So let's finish this off with a sepia. <clears throat> Uh, sepia. Okay, good. We're about to finish this on a three-hour mark. That's good. And we're at the two, well, two-hour mark for video. Three-hour, 3 a.m. right now. So I have an hour left. Oh, now that one looks good. Hold on, let me experiment a little bit more before I, you know, lock in my answer. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to have anything better than that. Anything else is too bright and too red. That one's too bright. That one's also too bright and too yellow. I feel like that just works perfectly. It has that nice, barren, desolate feel. 
to it, you know? Mm, I don't even know if I need to deal with uh, different colored sepia. I think that looks cool as is. I mean, I guess this to try to even out the blues. Yeah, sure. Why not? And there we go. Oh, yeah. That's a good uh, horror scene right there. Thankfully, you can see all the demons. All my face covering is just the space. All right. Good. Great. There we go. <clears throat> so there we go, folks. A lament. They got scrap portion, the rocky portion, craters, the regular area. <clears throat> yeah, awesome. So, as per usual, with effects, without effects, with effects, without effects, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so, there we have it, folks. Another Art Time episode done with. Thank you all for watching today's episode of Art Time. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more, check out that third playlist. And of course, previous episode of Art Time right over here, and the most, most recent episode of Minecraft ROTC Edition, I believe. Yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Later.